All right, so in this uh, lab, we're going to install Apache with SSL. We're going to create our own certificates, and I will do that with uh, Apache version 2. To start with, we will need um, to start with, we'll need the Apache source files, and I'm going to go ahead and download them, and the OpenSSL source files. I'll download those as well. Now, I, I prepared the OpenSSL.tgz. Uh, you can go to OpenSSL.org and, and download um, those source files. Okay, with this in place, I will go ahead and um, unarchive and uh, decompress both the um, Apache source files and I'll do the same for the OpenSSL. So now I have OpenSSL directory and I have the Apache source files directory. My next step is going to be to configure uh, and I can configure it because I have the configure script which comes with source files. I'll say, go ahead and configure, create a prefix or a base directory installation directory. A prefix equals home mapix Apache. So this is where our Apache will be installed. Next, we'll say enable SSL. And finally, we'll say with SSL is going to be under home mapix Apache a home OpenSSL. Uh, open SSL. So this is this is what I uh, created a moment ago. Open SSL. Okay, I'm going to run it, and uh, I'm still the Napix user. I'm not the super user. I'm not root. I'm a Napix user. Let me go ahead and close um, close that. So right now we are configuring the source files for the um, Apache HTTP server. All right, very well. How's it going? Everybody this far? They're going to be in the current directory. Okay, so now, uh, now I completed the configuration step, and what I need to do is I need to say make to compile, and then our next step will be make install. Of course, these are the longest uh, steps in, in this lab. All right, let me open this up. Okay, so now that the make step is um, completed, I'm going to say make install, and this should be very quick because this is just moving files or copying files to our installation directories. All right, at this point, I have the Apache, I have the Apache directory created, and I have the CONF directory created, which has the normal or the standard httpd.conf 
and it has SSL.com. So now it's time for me to create my certificate. Right? I need to create my SSL certificate. And I can do that by issuing open SSL command. And so uh, let me uh, set this up so I can uh, copy the command. Whoops. All right, this window does not want to cooperate. Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll say open SSL. And now we'll say, oh yes, <laughs> too many windows. Okay, I'll help you in just a moment. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, and uh, oh my goodness. What I want to do is want to move the window just the right. There we go. So open SSL, request a new certificate, X509 nodes out. So server.crt is going to be our public file, uh, public key then key out server.key is our private key. Both of those keys will be in the current directory where I execute the command from. I will run it. Now I'll plug in the information that will exist in my public certificate, the signed certificate. Uh, country, state of province, uh, Michigan, uh, locality, Grand Rapids, uh, organization name, uh, I'll go ahead and put in Grand Rapids Community College and uh, organizational unit, CO246, common name. This is the important part. This is where the URL gets registered into the certificate. So, uh, I'm sorry, not this. We'll say uh, CO246.com. Email address, I can just say something like support at CO246.com. And now, my certificates are created. Certificates are created. Now I will go ahead and make sure that the location of the certificates is known in my SSL.conf uh, file. SSL certificate file is the, the public certificate. And so this is the location of my current certificate, public key. And this is the location of my private key. Okay, I can check, okay, I can check my listen directive. I'm trying to listen on port 443. Now, if I start this with user Nopix, it's not going to work because Nopix cannot run listening ports on less than 1024 port number. So I will add eight to the beginning of this. So now I'm going to listen for SSL connections on 8443. Let's go ahead and save and exit. And let's start our Apache system by saying Apache CTL start SSL. It's the same as starting this by saying home Nopix Apache bin Apache CTL start. All right. Uh, the next uh, uh, part I need, need to modify is my listen directive in the http.conf. It should be uh, 8080. And now start from here. Okay, so now Apache is running so that if I navigate to local host port 8080, Apache is running just fine. This is not encrypted. Now I will switch that to HTTPS and now my port needs to change to 443. If I was root, I could start with port 443 by itself, and then you don't have to do colon anything, because 443 is default for HTTPS. I run it, and uh, uh, that's actually what, uh, what I wanted to see here. Let's see. Well, I tell you, this lab is going to haunt me today. <laughs> okay, so what happens here? Um, 
Uh, the connection failed. Uh, let's look at the log file briefly. Um, invalid method in your request. Um, See what happened here with my. Oh, I see. So my virtual host need to change as well. Uh, 443. Let's see where else this is used. Um, okay, let's check if that's all. We will use this. We'll say stop. And now we'll say start SSL. And so let's go ahead and, and refresh this. All right, and so that's what we expected. We see this, is, this connection is untrusted. And uh, we'll say, I understand the risks. And, uh, you know, before I even do that, let's modify my Etsy hosts, um, Etsy hosts, so that I can actually navigate to 12700.1 dot one and call it www.co246.com you see now if I type in um, www.co246.com 8443 like this the browser still has an issue with it okay because I'm not a certificate authority that's um, um, recognized but my dates are correct and my uh, host name is accurate. So I can go to technical details and it says, hey, this certificate is not trusted because it's self-signed. Okay. But normally we would see here a number of other messages. So let's see that if I go with local host, right, when I do that, look under technical details, I no not only have it self-signed problem, but also it's not valid because of the domain name. So let me go back to this domain name. I'll say understand the risk at exception, get certificate. When I preview it, these are the values that I typed in. Uh, it's valid uh, date-wise. And now I can say confirm security exception. And when I refresh, I'm actually uh, encrypting uh, the certificate is uh, is present and uh, and it's working. Okay, so briefly here we saw how to uh, install the SSL certificate uh, and add SSL to Apache.